My name is Annalie Longo and I'm the Women's Development Manager at New Zealand Football. I've been in my role now for two years. I was fortunate enough to walk into a role that had a, a, a good legacy in terms of women's development officers coming through, the likes of Bev Priestman, Emma Humphreys, Maya Jackman, Holly Nixon, uh, Ashley Cox, uh, and then when I stepped into the role, I uh, was obviously fulfilling some big shoes before me. Um, and for me, it was around finding my feet and finding kind of that strategic direction and, and where our currently our federation sit, where our clubs sit um, within the game. And for me, that was quite easy uh, coming from a federation base. Um, I spent six years at Mainland Football Federation and then coming into the women's development role at New Zealand Football was quite of a, an easy transition. Um, and yeah, I obviously noticed uh, some, some gaps in the system um, and there's some programs that I was able to implement and, and are still working through to try and change the landscape of women's football in New Zealand. Throughout the development, there's been a number of programs and initiatives we have started for New Zealand football. Uh, one of them was uh, part of the, the Legacy Starts Now plan was around uh, junior participation. And so we uh, started the Milo Fantails program and that was all around uh, building confidence, giving girls uh, an opportunity to play football girls only uh, and really I guess giving them the, the tools and an opportunity to come together and play, uh, particularly for new players. Um, so that's been a huge success uh, and since the World Cup we've seen 13% growth in female participation which has been awesome. We also run a number of other different programs, so we have the Ford Women in Leadership program uh, that's been going for five years now. We have had over 99 females come through the program and we're just starting uh, to put together a bit of an alumni group um, with those fantastic ladies. So they come around from all around the country in different backgrounds, uh, administration, coaching, refereeing, kind of all facets of of football and, and bringing them together and giving them the tools. Um, as I guess New Zealand football, we really want to grow females in key positions uh, and that's women on boards and women with decision-making kind of power. Uh, alongside that, we have our four regional women in leadership programs. Uh, and so we've been able to upskill and we, we call it train the trainer, upskill some facilitators to be able to deliver these regional programs uh, to try and get into our communities and clubs and really kind of through the system. We've also created uh, a number of different opportunities for coaches to get involved. Uh, so uh, C licensed female only, uh, junior level three female only, and, and really trying to, I guess, um, grow our advanced coaching space uh, and providing them the right support and mentorship um, to ensure that they I guess stay in the game and are able to kind of influence um, our players and be role models for our young players. I think for me seeing the increase in participation um, is something I'm really passionate about and something we've worked hard in terms of the programs we've run to grow that participation. Uh, I think also the introduction of Bridging the Gap we've seen obviously moving shifting towards a club-based National Women's League and we've seen the introduction of a, a South Island League uh, and growing that and growing our club's capability and being more sustainable is really important. I think the future of the role um, is continue to have that overlook and high lens of the strategic direction of women's football. Um, and I think uh, in particular we want to be sustainable, we want to continue to grow. Uh, and I think if we can get to almost 50% um, of equality in terms of girls and boys playing football, that would be the dream to have, have it even or even more females playing. But, yeah, for me it's around ensuring um, every little girl and little boy are able to play football and it's accessible for all and I think we'll continue to drive that through our initiatives at New Zealand Football. Thanks to NZCT for supporting uh, the women's development role at New Zealand Football. I think it's really important in investing and supporting the growth of the game and in particular women's football.